Kaana de Smart Mind é uma escola canadense, que oferece cursos de inglês, francês e imigração. Os vídeos estão em inglês ou francês para você se acostumar com a pronúncia. Os professores que sabem português vão te ajudar. You know that you and only you will improve your language skills. We are here to help you. Canada's Smart Mind will guide you through all the difficult things and will show you all the steps to have very good English in order to get a high score to pass through Canadian immigration. So, let's begin now. There are four aspects to increasing your fluency, grammar, vocabulary, speaking, and listening. Of course, you will feel different impacts from them depending on the type of person you are. Visit our website to have a more specific approach. You know that later is better than never, so act now and start doing a difference in your life. Imagine your speaking skills opening the track for you to pursue your dreams and build a better lifestyle. To achieve this, we will help you. You are going to have grammar and pronunciation. Now, let's see some grammar. Onomatopoeia Onomatopoeia words. Onomatopoeia is the formation of a word through imitation of a sound associated with that word. For example, the word buzz imitates the sound of some flying insects. And the word splash is like the sound made by something falling into water. Both buzz and splash are onomatopoeic words. Some onomatopoeic words are used for literary or poetic effect, but many are used in everyday speech. Here are 20 very common onomatopoeic words, together with their meanings and example sentences for verb and noun, along with an audio recording in each case. Beep, of a horn or electronic device, make a short, high-pitched sound, verb, the drivers kept beeping their horns until the van moved out of the way. Noun, I waited for the recording to end, then left a message after the beep. Crackle, a fire, make short, sharp, repetitive noises in quick succession, verb, the fire crackled loudly, when I threw another log on it. Noun, the only sound I could hear, was the comforting crackle of the fire. Flutter, of a bird or other winged creature, make a noise moving wings quickly, verb, the budgie was fluttering around the kitchen. Noun, I heard a flutter and realized a canary had flown through the window. Giggle, of a person, laugh in a light, silly way with short repeated gasps, verb, the boys couldn't stop giggling when the teacher found the frog on her desk. Noun, there were giggles from the audience, when the actor forgot his lines. Gulp, of a person, make a noise swallowing food or drink quickly in large mouthfuls, verb, he gulped down his entire meal before I'd even started mine. Noun, George finished his tea in one gulp, then got up to leave. Hiccup, hiccups, of a human or animal, make a short, unintentional sound from the throat, verb, the teacher sent me out of the room, because I couldn't stop hiccuping. Noun, the best way to cure hiccups is to drink water upside down. Hiss, of a snake, make a sound like a long S to express anger, verb, when the snake started hissing, I knew I was in danger. Noun, the cobra let out a hiss, before striking the terrified child. Hum, of a human or machine, make a, steady continuous sound, verb, the happy child hummed as she put away her toys. Noun, the gentle hum of the fridge, told me the power was back on. Jingle, of metal objects, make a light ringing sound when shaken together, verb, the coins jingled in my pocket as I ran down the road. Noun, the jingle of keys in his hands told me Gary was approaching. Moan, of a person, make a long, low sound expressing suffering or pleasure, verb, Tom was moaning in pain after his sister kicked him in the stomach. Noun, and let out a moan of despair when she realized what she'd done. Before you see what else we have to show you, hit the like button and subscribe yourself. By doing this more people will be helped and you will see more videos on this. Now, let's keep moving. Pop, of a balloon, popcorn, cork, bubblegum, etc. Make a quick explosive sound. Verb, he popped the cork on the champagne and the celebrations began. Noun, we heard a loud pop and realized his balloon had burst. Purr, of a cat, make a slow, continuous sound when content or showing affection. Verb, the cat jumped onto my knee and started purring loudly. Noun, 
The cat's purr got louder the harder I stroked its neck. Quack, of a duck, make a harsh throaty sound, verb, the ducks quacked loudly as they swam towards the bread. Noun, the duck let out a quack, then disappeared under the water. Rattle, of objects, a rattlesnake, make a rapid series of short sharp noises, verb, as the wind got stronger, the windows started to rattle. Noun, I heard the rattle of the snake's tail, and knew I was in trouble. Roar, of a lion or large cat, make a deep prolonged sound to express anger or distress, verb, I nearly jumped out of the skin, when I heard the tiger roar. Noun, the lion let out a roar, and we knew not to come any closer. Rumble, of thunder or a stomach, make a continuous deep resonant sound, verb, as lunchtime drew nearer, my stomach started to rumble. Noun, the distant rumble of thunder told me the storm was approaching. Screech, of a person, or breaks, make a shrill high-pitched sound, verb, when his sister pulled his hair, the young boy started to screech. Noun, I heard the screech of breaks, and ran to see what had happened. Sizzle, of food, make a hissing or popping sound when frying, verb, the sausages started to sizzle, as soon as I dropped them into the pan. Noun, the sizzle of the bacon in the pan, was making my mouth water. Snore, of a person or animal, make a snorting or grunting sound while asleep, verb, John was snoring so loudly, that I had to find somewhere else to sleep. Noun, I heard a snore from the cot, and realized the baby had finally fallen asleep. Whimper, of a child or dog, make weak intermittent crying sounds to show pain or distress, verb, the puppy started to whimper, as soon as I shut the door. Noun, Sam let out a whimper of pain as I put the antiseptic on his cut. Tell us which one you feel is better for you. Now, let's see some pronunciation. To pronounce beautiful sounds you have to pay attention to vowels and consonants. You will want to sound the vowels vibrating your mouth, and nose and consonants posing a stop. At the end of the words, you want to faint the sounds. Hear and imitate the sounds of these extracts as many times as you feel comfortable. Now that you have all of these, go to practice and create your own conversation. Go in the description to find our link, and go deeper into your study to achieve your dreams. Thank you very much for watching this video, and be sure to be in touch with us. Keep up there, and write your story. I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Bye for now.